Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Dungeon Damsel here, and I'm going to elaborate on Shadow Dark Torch rules. Torches, lanterns, and even magical light spells shine for 60 minutes of real time unless otherwise stated. The concept is that time passes in the game world at the same pace that it passes in the real world. However, if you are unable to track real time, then you assume one hour is 10 rounds. Torches show light in a 30 foot radius, or in shadow dark terms, a near radius. Close is adjacent, and far is as far as you can see. Meanwhile, lanterns can reach double near. In D&D terms, that's a 60 foot radius. Remember that any area outside the light source's range is in complete and utter darkness. So do everybody a favor and stay with the group. Lanterns also have a shutter to hide the light, which in Shadow Dark, why would you do that? And when lanterns go out, they can be relit with an oil flask. When someone lights a torch for the first time, set a 60 minute timer on your phone. Beep boop bop boop. When handling multiple torches, GMs may choose whatever rule they prefer, but two options are recommended. One, to keep things simple and exciting, even if more torches are lit, when the first one goes out, they all go out. At this point, someone needs to light another torch or be shrouded in the shadow dark, which means monsters are gonna come after your booty. Two, anytime someone lights a new torch, all of the other torches are extinguished. Start a new timer. And here's a homebrew rule that one of my groups uses. The players keep track of their own torches, and you can have multiple torches, so as long as they're keeping track of them, they extinguish on their own time. If a torch is dropped, it is recommended that the GM calls for a D6 roll. One through three, it goes out. Four through six, it stays lit. Lucky you, but it's modified by conditions. If a lantern is dropped, it might be broken with the same chance roll. And there might be oil and fire all over the place, so run away. In the shadow dark, things get deadly. When players do anything that requires sight, they make the attempt at disadvantage. In addition, monsters get emboldened by the darkness. The DM checks for a random encounter every round. Normally, in unsafe environments, the DM checks every three rounds, or in risky environments, every two rounds. Cat break! If you'd like things to be especially challenging, you could opt for a 30 minute timer on torches. This is called, you're in evil DM mode, but actually it's called blitz mode. Should the party decide to bed down in the middle of a dungeon, <laughs> which I don't recommend, Sleeping in the shadow dark will likely be impossible. If wood isn't available, characters can combine three torches into a campfire that can't be moved once lit. It will remain lit as long as one character remains awake and nearby. Like a torch, it casts light to a near distance. For GMs, it's recommended to have monsters attack the light. Have enemies try to knock light sources out of your character's hands. Use gusts of wind, dead magic zones, thin air, dripping ceilings, explosive gas, and falling debris. If you want to kill your players and you need creative ways to cause more darkness, then you can refer to the light mishap table on page 110 of the Shadow Dark Manual. Thank you for watching my video. And before you go, I have a little update. Dungeon Damsel is going to Gen Con! Yay! So if you're going to, leave me a comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. When you're in the shadow dark, and there's no light, you are fucked.